okay moving on to the last set now this set if you uh, apply a little bit of uh, you know logic it could be done but i would rate this as probably the second easier one set 3 in my opinion is the easiest uh probably this is uh slightly more difficult than that but it is still doable one of the doable sets in this particular uh, mock so let's go ahead and take a look at what is happening here we have uh, in here six teams a b c d e f and they're playing a round robin tournament every team plays with every other team once so each team will have five matches right it was found that uh each team among the top 3 teams scored more points than the bottom 3 so if i have top 3 and bottom 3 then if this is a b c and x y z in this order so this is rank number 1 2 3 4 5 6 it basically means c is greater than x right c is greater than x now x may or may not be equal to y y may or may not be equal to z but definitely x is the higher uh, among y and z it could be equal also but y and z are lower ranks so basically mean the values are lower similarly in abc they can be equal but definitely c cannot be higher than a or b it can be equal to them but not higher so c that is the least possible among these three is higher than the x which is the highest possible among the lower or the bottom three that is the intention of the statement or that is the meaning of the statement also a team from the top 3 may be beaten by the team from the bottom 3 on not more than one occasion so if i look at this as group 1 and this as group 2 from group 2 maximum one team only can win against team 1 all other matches group 2 will lose against group 1 maximum that too so it is possible that they'll uh, entire group 2 lost all matches against group 1 it is entirely possible or it is also possible that group 2 won only one match against match 1 but other matches it lost okay uh, and then we have a third statement after the completion of the tournament every team was given a rank from 1 to 6 based on the number of points scored if two or more teams have the same number of points the rank is decided by other factors what other factors is not mentioned so basically by some logic they are arranged in 1 to 6 order and clearly it is one point for a win and uh, no points for a loss there is no draw or there is no tie so this is the information given let's move on to the question a b c d e and f finish the tournament in the same order so a came first b second c third the top group is over d e and f and the result of each match can be exactly determined how many matches were won by the middle two teams c and d so first let us understand the underlying concept here if you look at group 1 and group 2 how many points can be there with all the three teams in group 2 first of all let's look at d will play matches with e d will play matches with f e will play match with f so totally in group 2 there are three matches among uh among themselves so obviously these three matches will have three winners so three points will not go anywhere so group 2 will definitely have three points what about the matches with the group 1 d versus a d versus b d versus c similarly you have e versus a e versus b e versus c and you have f versus a f versus b f versus c in all these matches at most one match can be won so 3 is guaranteed this one point extra may or may not be possible depending upon the conditions now which means the total score of group 2 total points of group 2 could be 3 or 4 3 or 4 okay it's 3 or 4 so now let's go on to understand what is happening in the uh, group 1 group 1 how many points will be there with a b c now first of all what is the total number of matches six teams uh, c 2 so this is 15 so totally there are 15 matches so there are 15 points or 15 points 
थ्री और फोर आर गोइंग टू द ग्रुप टू विच मीन ग्रुप वन विल एंड अप विथ आइदर ट्वेल्व और इलेवन ट्वेल्व और इलेवन इट विल बी ट्वेल्व और इलेवन ओके दिस इज द लॉजिक दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट If you understood this logic, now let's go ahead and take a look at what happens in this question. So you have here A, B, C, D, E, and F. So I will look at what are all the possible cases in which you can have the arrangement. So the first and the best way to look at it is I will say uh, the bottom got exactly three points. In such a case. what could be the possibility if bottom got exactly 3 points it means it uh, the bottom group 2 lost all its matches with group 1 okay and amongst them they fought and they won 3 matches obviously when 3 matches are played one winner will always be there in each match so the possibility is 1 1 1 or it is 2 1 0 please remember 3 0 0 cannot be possible Why cannot three zero zero be possible? Because D is playing only two matches with E and F, one each. So it can get maximum two points. It can't get three points directly, right? So there are three points total, but D can get maximum two. So E can get one, F will get zero, or D can get one, E will get one, F will get one. So this is the bottom taken care of. Now, what is happening in the upper case? That is uh, group one. In group one. Out of fifteen points, three points are not yours, which means there are remaining twelve points. If there are remaining twelve points, what are the different ways in which you can arrange these twelve points? So the different ways in which you can arrange twelve points are five, four, three, or four, four, four. Always remember, A is greater than or equal to B is greater than or equal to C. So you cannot have other combinations. It has to be five, four, three, or four, four, three. So group one. Has two ways in which I can arrange. Group two will have two ways in which I can arrange. So here, totally there are four possibilities. Totally there are four possibilities. Now let's also take a look at uh, what happens. In fact, I think the answer can be got here itself for this. Now look, look at it. If I have five four three, five four three, and two one zero. i can definitely say who is winning against whom why because if it is 5 which means a won all five matches a won all five if b got 4 it means b won four and lost to a so if b won with everybody else below it c d e f c got 3 which means out of five matches it has won three matches it has lost two matches already a won all five which means a won against c B one the remaining four it lost to A which means it has won against C so C lost two matches so C won against D E and F similarly if you look at D D got two points which means it has won against E and F and E got only one point which means it has won against F and obviously F lost all matches so I can clearly tell what is happening in this case however if you look at any combination of four 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 Which means A has lost one, B has lost one, C has lost one. So A lost one, B lost one, C lost one. Who did it lose to? They could be possibility. So A could lose to B, or A could lose to C. We don't know exactly where A is losing, because it is possible that A is losing. A and B, A lost, whereas A all others won. This is one possibility. similarly i can in this in this same case i can have a lost to b so i can say b lost to c and b won against all others and i can say c lost to a and c won against all others so i'll get a four points b four points c four points and i can arrange d e f i don't have to care because as long as a b c itself Uh, i'm getting one case then you look at the other case also a can lose to uh, c this time and uh, b a can lose to c c lost to b and of course b lost to a this is also possible 
So there are two cases when I have 444, four, four, which means this is not the case that he's talking about. We are talking about the possibility of 543210. In such a case, you can exactly say who's playing where. So the middle two will be three plus two, five matches. So C and D are playing five matches in total. Okay, that is 16th question. Now let's move on to the 17th question. If A, B, C, D and uh, E and F ended up in the same order again. So once again, we're having the same order. A, B, C, D, E and F. And each of the top three as well as the bottom three had the same points. They're having the same number of points. Now, first of all, if I'm having the same points, then bottom should be three, cannot be four because four cannot be divided equally among three points, three people. So this is one, one and one which also means ABC should be four, 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 because total up should be uh, the group one, above group will be 12 points, divided equally will be 12. So in how many ways could the tournament have produced results? So this is guaranteed. But when you're talking about results, you're talking about who is winning against whom. So we already saw for four, four, four in the previous question, we can have A, B and C this cycle where A is winning against B, B is winning against C and C is winning against A or I can have the reverse cycle. A is winning against C, C is winning against B and B is winning against A. Two possibilities in the upper uh, group. Similarly, D, E, F are 1, 1, 1. Now who is winning against whom? Once again, three or two possibilities. D is winning against E, E is winning against F and F is winning against D or the reverse, the, the counterclockwise is also possible. So two possibilities here. So two in the upper possibilities or rather upper uh, group and two possibilities in the lower group. When you're looking at all possible combinations, it is two into two, which is four. So you have a total of four possible results. That is 17. If you look at 18th, what could be the total possible number of combinations of the final points of the 16? So we are looking at how many possibilities are uh, there only in points. So you're not looking at the result who is winning against whom. It's, we are talking about the points distribution. So now let's go uh, methodically case by case. Once again, I'll start with the case A, B, C, D, E, F. I'll start with the bottom got three points and the top got 12 points. So when bottom is three, I can have one, 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 or I can have two, one, zero. Correct. Now when the top is 12, I can have two possibilities, four, 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 or five, four, three. We already saw this. So two ways of arranging the top and two ways of uh, the bottom. So totally two into two. In this case, I'll have four such scenarios, right? So what are the cases? Four, four, four. So the cases are four, four, four. 210444111. The next is 543 110. This is your A, B, C, D, E, F. This is the case where I started with three points are given to the bottom group. Now I'll take the next possible scenario where the bottom group A, B, C, D, E, F. This time the bottom group has four points. If the bottom points, how many ways can I arrange it? Now this can be arranged in 2, 2, 0 or 2, 1, uh, 2, 1, 1. Okay. Remember uh, 3, 1, 0. Some of you might think it is possible, but let us see, is it possible or not? Let's move on to the top group. We'll write this. I'll show you that it is not possible, but for now, let me write. Now top group already out of 15 points, four points are gone. So remaining are 11 points. So how many ways can we arrange the other 11 points? It can be done like this four, four, three or five, three, three. Now in both the cases, remember you're ending with a three and we clearly know C has to be greater than D. So D cannot be three. That is the reason why this part is not possible. So you have two here and once again, two here, two into two totally four. So four plus four, you have total eight ways in which the points can be distributed. Once again, what are the points here? Four, four, three, two, two, zero, four, four, three, two, one, one, then five, three, three, two, two, zero, five, three, three, two, one, one. These are the eight cases totally possible. Okay. Moving on to the 19th question. 
if a b c d e f again are ending up in the same way and f one its match against a which means i have a b c and d e f if f is min winning its match against a so the bottom will have four points because it has three points among itself and it is taking one point from the top and the top group will have 11 points so 11 plus 4 total should be 15 then how many of the following is or are true now remember when it is 11 and 4 uh, combination then we are looking at 4 4 3 and 5 3 3 and bottom can be 2 2 0 or 2 1 1 now please understand this is not possible because f is already winning one match against a then the only other possibility is 2 1 1 okay 2 1 and 1 now also remember 5 3 3 is not possible because a is losing one so you have only one way in which this can happen which means a b c d e f a got 4 4 3 2 1 1 now who is winning against whom definitely a is going to win against all of these a with b a with c a with d and a with e whereas f is going to win against a that is why a got four points remember each team is playing four matches so if each team is playing four matches then a all sorry five matches each team is playing five matches a is losing only one match and that is with f which means a should win against all the others b c d e now B already lost one match with A, which means it has to win all other matches. So B will win all matches against the other. So B would have won against C. Now what about D, E, F? D lost to E. Is it possible that D lost to E? Uh, let's take a look at it. We have D 2, E is 1, F is 1. So F 1, this 1 is got from A. Correct? This 1 is got from A, which means e has won against f for sure right because e got only one point so and f got one point from a which means f is losing both its matches so f is losing to e which means e won against f and d is winning with e and f both so d did not lose to e it has won against e so this is not correct d won against f we know we just proved it is correct so two out of the three are correct that is your option b Right. The last question, which of the following statements is or all sufficient to tell the exact number of points each team scored if A, B, C, D, E, D, E and F ended up in the same order from top to bottom. So once again, you have A, B, C, D, E and F. But we will now write down very quickly because we know what are the cases. The cases are uh, I have 5, 4, 3 or 4, 4, 4. In both these cases, I basically have. 1 1 1 in the bottom or 2 1 0 so 2 1 0 so this is totally four cases 2 by 2 into 2 2 in the top 2 into bottom so 2 into 2 four cases or i have another possibility 4 4 3 5 3 3 and the bottom could be 2 1 1 or 2 2 0 once again i have four 2 into 2 four cases now f1 against a so if i know f1 against a now this is gone so i will just use a different color so that i can erase it later so which means this is gone this case is not possible f1 against a so f cannot be zero and this is gone clearly this is also ruled out because if a is losing it cannot get five and this is also gone so uh and and f has one against a which means first of all we are not looking at this part at all. This is not your scenario because we are looking at if F won against A, then the bottom will have four points. Bottom four is this case, these two scenarios, which means you have four, four, three and two, one, one. Now the thing is D, E, F, you know exactly who won. D won uh, against E and F. This is the previous question. E won against F and F won against A. Now, what about this four? This four basically means A won against B, C, d e this four basically means this b one against c d e and f and this three uh one against or rather c is three so c is three means it has one against d e and f 
So you got entire scenario only with this one statement. So one alone is possible. So clearly B is gone. Okay. Now, is it only one alone or is it three also? Let's take a look at it. Uh, or any of the three, any of the three is also possible. So let me take a look at option two and see. If option two is there, B one two matches more than E. B one two matches more than E. So let me erase all the ink which we don't need of this color. And let me continue very, very quickly. Uh, just a moment, quickly erasing this. Right. Now, if I say B12 matches more than E, so B should be equal to E plus 2. Which cases is it? It could be 1 and if, if E is 1, then my B should be 3. So this is not possible at all. This is not happening. Because if E is 1, then B is 4 in both the cases. So that is not possible. Then uh, B is, if this is uh, two more matches than E. So if E is one, then it could be three here. So this is one possible five, three, three. So you can look at five, three, three and two, one, one. Okay. Five, three, three, two, one, one. Now here, the problem is this got five. So which means this is winning all five matches. So B, C, D, E, F, it has won all five. Clearly this is a, this is B. C, D, E and F. Now B is losing two matches. Now the question is which two matches is it losing? Anyway, it is losing one match to A. But what about the match to D? It is losing one match here. It could, it is possible that I am winning against C. I am losing to D. I am winning against E and winning against F. This is possible. Or the other possibility is I am winning against C, I am winning against D, but I'm losing against E. Uh, I'm losing against E and I'm winning against F. So here the loss is with E. Here the loss is with uh, D and other possibilities. So we will not exactly know which one is correct. There are multiple cases that are coming out. So two alone is not enough, which means any of the three is gone. Option B is gone. Okay, now we'll have to check whether C that is uh, three alone is possible or not. Now let's change the color so that you can follow and let me make it as violet. Okay, this is possible. Now C1, three matches more than D. So C should be D plus three. Now, is it possible? Uh, in fact, let me, for clarity sake, let me erase the previous colors so that you can follow. very, very quickly. Right. So I am looking at, uh, okay. I'm looking at C being D plus three. So if D is one, then C cannot be three. C can be four. This is one possibility or that's it. That's the only possibility, right? One and four C is D plus three. So you have a case where four, four, four and one, one, one. E1 three more matches than D. Sorry, C1 three more matches than D. Right. Uh, right. So this you have 444 four, four and 111. One, one. Okay. I think I made a small error in calculation in the previous. Uh, this thing will go back to it for uh, the second point, but right now we are looking at exact number of points each team has scored. So we will know 444111. We will not know which team is winning against whom, but we will know the points and they're not talking about the order of winning. They're just talking about the points. So one and four is possible only in this scenario. So this is clear now, which also makes us come back to the previous one here. There is a small error. I counted it or rather I read it as the total number of ways in which the team have won, but that is not correct. I was trying to calculate the total number of ways in which teams have won, but we are only supposed to look at the number of ways in which or number of points that they have got. So let me erase this and go back. So we know for sure that this is correct. Uh, we know for sure that only one is possible uh, and only one is possible. Only three is possible. Now let us go back and check for two. So what is happening to a B 
C, D, E, and F. B won two more matches than E. So again, let's let's quickly write down uh, one 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 and two one zero, and I have five four three and four four four. This is one. The second scenario is two one one and two zero zero. Uh, sorry, two two zero, and I have five three three or four four three. Now, B is equal to E plus two. In how many cases is B uh, two more than E? So you have uh, E and B. Yeah. So two here, two here, and four. Right. So B equal to four. And e equal to two. This is one case, and I have one and three. So I can have b equal to three and e equal to one. So I am getting two cases. We don't know which two is correct. Now we are not bothered about who is winning. We are looking at exact number of points only. But that itself, we are getting two possible scenarios. Therefore, two is not sufficient. So one is sufficient, three is sufficient. Therefore, option C, this is not correct. Option C is correct. And that's your answer for the question. So this is actually a bit tricky, but still doable. If you could have got four questions correct, probably one mistake here and there uh, and set three, that is set three and set four are doable sets in this particular mock for sure.